As someone who lived on the route of the Dakota Access Pipeline, I know all too well the threat that infrastructure like that poses, not just to farmers and landowners, but to indigenous populations, to minorities, and to marginalized people in the U.S. and worldwide. I've been opposed to that pipeline from the beginning you're talking about. It's among the dirtiest oil in the world. Mm -hmm. It in fact has the highest sulfur content of most any oil in the world. It's the dirty crew. Yeah. Do, you know, do, you know the yes. do you know they're trying to double the flow of oil? I know. Right? I opposed it the beginning. I know. I know. Can you speak about Yes, I have. We need it. All you guys and I were pains in the neck. You know that? I know that. I <laughs> want a personal statement from you. I want you to sign it. Take my word, but I've never broken my word. I've been opposed to the pipeline to begin with. Because if we do not act in a significant way in the next 12 years, the harm will be irreversible. Mm -hmm. The harm will be irreversible.